Hello, this is kind of a little extra prepping video I wanted to add in here because I forgot to show a stage and while we're working on this Zypac and this skull when they're still in the jacket, we'll, we'll go to these pterodendron bones here you get them cleaned off a lot of times especially on uh, thicker pieces and then you put like a layer of nice soft foam and then a board tighten up with uh, ratchets straps get it nice and tight and then you flip the whole fossil over upside down and then you clean from the back side that happens a lot more with uh, larger pieces like this triceratops here where you clean one side then you have to flip the whole thing over and clean the dirt down from the other side so I didn't do that on this jacket here because uh, I forgot that so I wanted to show you that and mention that. This is the back side or the side that was actually facing up in the field. <clears throat> Generally on fossils, the underside is usually in better shape. This piece here, we have to break right through here and this whole section here needs to tilt down. Here's the articulation point right here that goes to here. So that all needs to come down to here and this neural spine belongs up here, um, not spine, excuse me, neural fin belongs up here in this area. <clears throat> but anyways, I wanted to show you that. This is, oh, by the way, this is trended on bones here. This is, uh, I can't remember if this is the radius or the ulna. It's one of the two, hang on. Show me real quick. We have, uh, here we have the pneumatic forearm. And then this is wing phalanx one, wing phalanx two, three, and part of four. Five is totally gone. This is the humerus. This is to a large um, pteranodon from the Kansas chalk. It's the only place you find them in the world. That's a little tetragoid. I believe that goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pause. I can't remember. I think that goes right here. I haven't looked at one for a while. I don't have my book of morphology. And while we're at it, I wanted to show you one last thing. It's kind of neat. A little bonus here. A few things that are going on. We have part of a duckbill dinosaur here that they're working on. Really neat here. Oop. There we go. Right side up, I believe. So, and then over here, you get to see a lot of things here you don't normally see. We have an, an array of really cool looking teeth. Theropods for sure, I believe some of that is T-Rex. But the thing I really wanted to show, sorry, oh. Molds. A lot of the stuff you see in the museum is a mold. But this is for real. What we got here is from Morocco. And a bunch of little starfish in here and this is more of a sandstone with the uh, trilobites and you look at all the little starfish in here and this matrix here is hard as a rock so you have to use one of those little pneumatic air hammers like I showed you in a couple videos back to remove this is a really slow process I don't know what we're doing with it here Apparently broke. I don't know if we're supposed to fix it or evaluate it. I, you, we get stuff in here all the time. People want us to evaluate things, how much of it's real, how much of it's fake. Some people just want some repairs done. Other stuff, yeah, I don't know. There's all kinds of different projects. But anyways, I'll back off from there. Just thought you would enjoy that little extra bonus. Some stuff you don't get to see too often. Thanks for watching.